Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about Laplace transformation. So now I will show you how to answer. We put Laplace for the both sides. So we need to transform second derivative of this one. We can put about h square capital F of h minus h the small f of number zero minus first derivative of f at s equal to number zero. About this one. We need to transform into H capital F of H minus F of number zero. This one we transform into capital F of H e to the power of t. We need to transform into one over h minus number one and now we put everything going here So f of number 0, that is about this one. So we have 0, we cancel, cancel. This one equal to number 1. So we put number 1 in here. And now we just have like this. So we have capital F of H, F of H, and F of H. We can do about factorization. So we have H square plus 7S plus 12. And I will put negative number 1 go to the right. And we have positive number 1. Later that we divide both sides by this one. Next, h square plus 7h plus 12 
we can do about factorization in here that should be about s plus number 3 and s plus number 4 similar for the second one Now, about this one, we can do about factor, oh sorry, partial fractions. So this one, I will put about 8 over h minus 1, b over h plus 3, c over h plus so similar you can do by yourself in here so this one if we do about common denominator you will got like this over this one now we need to expand about this one we have s square plus 7h plus 12 about b this one we have s square plus 3s minus number 4 about this one we have h square plus 2h minus number 3 over this one now we need to arrange based on the terms of h about h square we have a plus b plus c about h we have 7a minus or uh, sorry 3 3 b with the positive in here and we have 2 c about the numbers we have Trail A negative four B negative three C So we know that we just have only number one. That means the numbers equals to number one. We don't have H square and H. So this one equals to number 0 and this one equals to number 0. And now we create the system of equations. And now we need to find A, B, C. So A equals to 1 over 20. B equals to negative 1 over 4. C equals to 1 over 5. So we put A, B, C go back in here.
So we have A, B, C in here. Now, about this one, you got about 1 over H plus 3 minus 1 over H plus 4. Now we need to simplify So 1 over h plus 3 minus 1 over 4 in here, we have 3 over 4, h plus 3, negative number 1, and 1 over 5, we have negative 4 over 5, and we have h plus now we have the formula in here that is about e a t and we have 1 over h minus a so we have negative number 1 so a equals to number 1 we have positive number 3 that means a equals to negative number 3 this one negative number 4 and now we have the final answer in here. And this is the final answer we need to find in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.